I don't believe in Satan as a devil. It's not an article of my faith, but I do believe that there was a profound presence of dark power on the earth. The word devil is simply the word evil with a D in front of it. And the word God comes from a German word, goth, which the root gives us the root word for good. You take an O out of good and it becomes God. And God is good and devil is evil. Um, you need to understand that words and terms are divinely put into a flow so that your mind can accept concepts. I don't accept anything. I want to know, Christians are called believers. I've often wondered, why would anyone call themselves a believer? I mean, if you are on death row or if you, if you are being tried for a capital crime and your attorney uh, is going through the different uh, jurors and they come across someone and they ask you, do you know anything about this case? And you say, oh, yes, I already have decided this guy is guilty, and that's it. Well, they can't use you. Why? Well, because you're prejudiced. You haven't even heard the facts yet, and you've already decided. So consequently, you are a believer. You believe that the person is guilty, which obviously shows you, have, you do not have an open mind. You are not very well read, and consequently cannot be trusted to make any kind of a decision. And consequently, today, in religion throughout the world, uh, unfortunately, they are believers. Why? Because they, not, they don't know anything. They are believers. Once you understand what words mean, the very word church is a classic example. We have Christians talking about uh, Christ, having no idea in the world what the word Christ means. Uh, how would you know an antichrist if you don't even know what the word Christ means? Christ comes from a Greek word, Christos, which gives us Pillsbury Crisco. Crisco is a cooking oil. That's what Christos or Christ means, oil. Therefore, Jesus the Christ is Jesus the oil, Jesus the Christos. <clears throat> the Christos, the oil, yes, because oil, you ask any Christian, why is Jesus called the Christ? They will tell you because he was the anointed. Why? Because even in the British um, a tradition today, the king and queen is anointed in the head with holy oil. Interesting symbols, I suspect. Why, um, why were the ancient kings, not only in Israel, but throughout the ancient world, always anointed in the head with holy oil. Well, it has to do with Yahweh. Jehovah, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews. Yahweh is not the name. It's not a proper name. Yahweh is a descriptive term that's describing something. The best way to illustrate what Yahweh is describing is to take a garden hose and bend the nozzle, bend the hose at the nozzle, <clears throat> turn on the water and feel the pressure building up in the hose. When you release the hose, the water does not pour out, it blows out. And it's an extraordinary release of energy. And that extraordinary e uh, release of dynamic energy was pinned up, that is released, is referred to in the ancient Phoenician world as Yahweh. 